for many years, our very learned anthropologists have been telling us that the Garden of Eden was a piece of desert somewhere between the Tigris and Euphrates River. Now, spring training opens tomorrow, and all of a sudden, we're going to prove them to be quite dumb. Because the Garden of Eden is a piece of property somewhere between first and third in one of the many ballparks that dot Arizona and Florida. It's really a state of mind rather than a piece of real estate. Spring training is the time of dreams and of hopes when reality takes a holiday and every veteran is a wizard and, every, and rejuvenated and every rookie is a potential Babe Ruth or a Satchel Paige and no club has lost a single game that counts in the standings. Spring training, of course, is supposed to be for conditioning and for selection and for instruction. And I suppose there is a little bit of each. But basically, it's to condition the fans. It's a con game. The athletes go get in condition in two or three weeks. Most rosters are set before they even start spring training. Oh, occasionally there's a surprise. A kittle who makes the club, some phenom who can really play, a guy fighting for the ninth or tenth pitching job or the third string catching job might surprise you. But basically, surprises only come with bad ball clubs. But with the fans, ha, ah, that's quite different. They need the hype. Because you see, now there's competition. Competition didn't used to exist. But today, there are the playoffs in basketball, in hockey, in soccer. And all of a sudden, a new football league is on the horizon. You know, when the club, like the White Sox, pay their starting pitchers five times as much as the president's cabinet, you know you need some scratch. And in order to get scratch, you better have some advanced sales and have large. And that takes a state of mind, too.